Hi, I'm Anthony from BestBluesGuitarLessonsOnline.com and in this video I'll share the three easiest blues guitar licks to learn first. So if you're just starting out, those licks are really nice and fun to play and to experiment with. So let's dive right in. I'll play lick one. You can follow along with the tablature here on the video. And lick one goes like this. <laughs> So we're playing inside of the A minor pentatonic scale. If you don't know how to play the scale yet, you can look it up in the other videos here on the channel. But the fingerings here are index finger on the fifth fret on the D string. And then I'm playing with the third finger, the seventh fret on the same string. And I'm playing this with a hammer on. And for this, I'm just hitting the string here at the D string with the pick but then I don't hit it again for the second note because in a hammer-on scenario which we're in now we're hitting the string then for the second note with the third finger here so just make sure you hit the string really powerful think that there's a mosquito on the string and you need to kill it because if you don't hit it powerfully then it will sound like this <laughs> and this is not what you want so just use enough force and you'll get the hammer on down here and then on the G string we have the fifth fret and we add a little blues band so we can see in the tablature there's a little arrow uh, here surrounding this uh, fifth fret so this means we're having this blues band so we can choose to pull off uh, we can choose to pull the string not pull off just pull or push up the string it doesn't matter it will uh, equal the same it's equally uh, the same blues band so here is uh, this personal choice of mine so I'm pulling this string here with the index finger uh, just a little bit doesn't matter how much for now and then we end the lick on the root note of the scale which is the A note here in this case and then we're adding a little bit vibrato and this is a really important technique to get good at vibrato that there's a lot to be said about this much important technique but for now if you're just starting out just think that you're giving the string a little back rub like a little massage and you're just going back and forth with the string and you can experiment with this so this is lick number one blues lick number two the second lick sounds like this so here we're also using the A minor pentatonic scale all these licks are derived from the scale with the exception of lick 3 this has a, another uh, scale but the second lick also shares a this A minor pentatonic scale and we're starting out with the ring finger here on the seventh fret because we're in this A minor pentatonic scale and we're using this finger here in the scale so I'm starting out with the A string 7th fret then I'm going to the 7th fret on the G string and I'm performing a little push up so this uh, blues band on the string again then I'm doing the same for the 5th fret we can push or pull again and then I'm ending on the A note again which is the root note so the last note of the lick so practice these really slowly at first and the third lick is the one I'm gonna play now this is uh, the third lick so this, this is a very common blues lick found all around blues and blues rock uh, styles in particular so we have the seventh fret with the ring finger and we're using also the G and B string simultaneously 
to play a double stop. So a double stop is when we play two adjacent strings at the same time. And then we have the seventh fret here with the third finger also in a double stop. So we're playing the G and B string at the same time. And I'm playing again the fifth fret with the index finger, the double stop. And you can see that we're uh, performing a little blues bend on the fifth fret here on this double stop. So we're playing the lick like this. And this lick isn't derived from the A minor pentatonic scale because this lick is derived from the D dominant pentatonic scale and that's why we're, be, we're being able to play this fifth fret here on the B string. So practice these licks very slowly at first and then when you get the feel of these licks you can experiment, experiment with them. Like improvisation is basically in the beginning just experimentation with the duration of the notes, play some notes longer, some notes shorter. Also the order of the notes can be changed and you can do this over a backing track or if you saw the, one of the previous videos here on the YouTube channel about using a loop pedal to make your own backing tracks, you can use this. Uh, this is what I did and I will show you how these licks sound over a basic blues riff. <laughs> I hope you like this lesson and also leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And all these links can also be found at my website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and much more. You can also download the free blues guitar ebook and you can uh, find it there and hope to see you in the next video.